What's up guys, how you doing? My name is Kane Nash, welcome back to Kane's Thoughts, and today it's gonna be a little bit different of a video. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a thumbnail for any YouTube video in under three minutes. And we're gonna do this start to finish, by the way. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find a video that you wanna make a thumbnail for. So we're just gonna open this new vlog here that I made for Ryan. We'll use this screenshot right here. Now with Windows, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit print screen. On Mac, we've got it a little bit easier. We're just gonna make the video full screen, hit command shift, Four, select the area of the screen that we want to take the screenshot of, i.e. the thumbnail. On Windows, all you've got to do is hit print screen and then resize. So now that we've got that screenshot, it should be saved to my desktop right here. Fantastic. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up Photoshop. So now that we've got Photoshop open, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna hit open. It might be a little bit different depending on your version of Photoshop, how you do this. Sometimes you could just go to file, open. But for me, it's a little bit easier since I have Creative Cloud. We're gonna hit open. And then we're gonna find our screenshot, depending on where you saved it. Mine's on the desktop. And we're gonna hit open. So now that we have this open, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna hit this brush right here with the selection behind it. It's our selector tool. Don't know what the actual term is. I just call it the selector tool. And we're gonna wanna click and drag. And we're gonna drag our subject. As you can see, it got a little bit of the grass here, a little bit of the stuff behind him. That's not what we want, but it works for right now. We're gonna wanna make sure that it has now switched over to the minus button instead of the plus. So we're taking away. And we're just gonna go through, make this a little cleaner. Sometimes you have to do this two, three times. See how this went a little bit inside. That's okay. So we're just clicking. I'm literally just tapping the trackpad, okay? I have auto enhance on, which is a button up here that you can click. And then as I said before, it's just a matter of going in and continually redoing the edge, but it's really just clicking and clicking and clicking. So that looks to be pretty good if we can get some of the sleeve in here. And remember, this is gonna be fairly small. So unless you're posting your thumbnails to other websites as independent images, this is gonna be a pretty fair mat. So now what you wanna do is you wanna hit Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows. Hit this button right here. This is the new layer button. And then we're gonna hit Command or Control V. And what that's done is we've made a new layer with that exact selection just over the top of the exact place it was. Now, you can double click here, click drop shadow. Mine's already custom preset. You can copy these settings if you please. And then you're gonna wanna hit stroke as well. And also, as you can see, now we've got some discrepancies here. Don't worry about that, we can fix that. You can go into stroke and you can change the width of the stroke, so depending on what the look you're going for is. We've got some issues down in here, we've got some issues over here, and even one there I could hear an argument for. We're gonna wanna hit the eraser tool, go through, and then just erase. And because we made a new layer, we are absolutely allowed to do this. It's actually just this easy, you can just go through. So this already looks pretty good. One other thing you can do though, is you can add color overlay over the back of the image. So what color overlays normally look like is this, although you can bring the opacity down like I had it. Creative Cloud Auto keeps your preferences, which is very nice, but other versions of Photoshop and things don't. So just pull that down, click OK, and then bam, you've got a custom-made YouTube thumbnail. Also, one more thing I do wanna say before I sign off here is that when you go to Save As to get this out, go through, hit JPEG, not PNG because PNG will give you too large of a file to upload to YouTube and then title it, you know, thumb and click save. Now there's one more step here. You can choose the file size. You can make it a really low quality image or a really high quality image. And because we clicked JPEG, we can make it the highest quality JPEG it can be. And it's still under one megabyte, which is very, very nice. So you click OK, and then you can upload this image that we just made as your YouTube thumbnail for that video. All right, guys, hope that helps. And obviously, if you want, you can really go in and redefine that mask and get things like this perfect. But that is how you make a YouTube thumbnail in under three minutes.